Typically, as the school year begins to wind down, many parents make plans to send their kids to summer camp. But this year, the pandemic has some parents thinking twice about that decision. News 6's Lauren Cervantes is taking a closer look at the changes being made so parents can feel more confident sending their kids to camp. Well, many parents are having conversations about summer camp, but in the midst of coronavirus, are camps open? And if so, what could they look like? Are summer camps safe? That's going to be a broader question that's more difficult to answer, to be honest with you. A doctor from Advent Health weighing in on the subject over their Facebook page this morning. It's a question parents are asking. The world is a challenging place before COVID, obviously. Um, but now more than ever, you know, you have to worry about who they're hanging out with. Anthony Trimble has two sons, a two year old and a six year old. He says his six year old typically goes to summer camp and tells News 6 that'll still be happening this year. But they did let us know up front that there was going to be some changes uh, as far as where they were having it, how many children were allowed to attend, you know, the cleaning. And he says while they'll be changing the structure a little, he's happy they're still open, calling summer camps vital. But other camps won't be operating this summer. The city of Winter Springs announced their summer programs have been canceled, opting to do things virtually. But another organization says they are an essential part when it comes to helping families. So they too will be open this summer, but their club may look a little different. Face mask, temperature taking, plexiglass. There's a lot of things that we have to figure out for our operations. Jose Bastias with the Boys and Girls Club says they will be limiting each space so that there are only nine kids and one staff member in each area. Normally in a in us in our normal summer, this place would be fully packed with 300 kids in the building. Um, we are going to be lowering our numbers drastically. Now, I reached out to the Growing Together Academy and they confirm they are open this summer. And in fact, they tell me they actually have some spots available for children. And I have to mention, we are here at Dog Lando and coming up at 530, they tell us the health and safety measures they've had in place long before coronavirus and how it's actually benefited them in the midst of all of this. In Orlando, I'm Lauren Cervantes getting results news six.